Hello. Previously we worked with the Raspberry Pi Pico and we did some basic uh, programming with MicroPython. Now, today we're going to work on trying to set up the uh, Pico with the C and C++ software development kit. And right now it's running a uh, simple Blink program. It looks very similar to the previous one. And if you, if we use uh, Picocom, we can see it's printing a hello world. Now, not too uh, fancy, but it's not running MicroPython. So you can't uh, go back to the REPL to try to see what's going on. And even in, um, even in here, can't really break out of it. There's no real um, uh, good uh, breakout uh, uh, command. So I'm going to go ahead and just disconnect this from the, my, the Raspberry Pi that's programmed into. And it's just going to cancel out. Okay. Now. One of the problems I was running into doing this is that the uh, version of CMake on my Raspberry Pi Pico is not the correct version. It's a older version. I believe that we need, uh, I think, 3.16. And as you can see on the screen, uh, 3.7.2 is what we have. So, um, while trying to research this, I came across uh, a uh, tutorial from Gary Explains. I'll put his information and the resources I found to do this in the uh, description. And we'll uh, go through that. So, first thing I want to do is I'm going to do this inside my Pico. Uh, software development kit folder that I've already made and so so inside this uh, folder don't have anything in there yet to make a directory call it CMake okay so we have the uh, CMake uh, directory. So let's go into that. Uh, go into that directory, and now we want to download a new version of CMake. Now there is a version on GitHub of three point one nine point four. So we're going to go ahead and download that file. So once we download this file, we'll uh, uh, decompress and expand the file into the folder. And then we will go ahead and go through the uh, make and installation process. So this process can take a few minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, fast forward through part of this or edit out the uh, download process. When we get to the next step, I will be right back.
if, if you look on the screen here, you can see that uh, uh, first time around, this uh, didn't go through. It uh, failed to establish a uh, secure uh, connection, so I had to rerun it, and it only took 8, 0.8 seconds to download this 11 megabyte file, or correction, 8.8 .8 megabyte file, as you can uh, see here, it's 8.9. So now the next thing we need to do is run tar to uh, decompress and expand the file. And this will uh, create all the directories that we need. So then we go to the directory created and we need to run this program here uh, bootstrap and I have run this previously uh, at a different time it can vary the uh, time frame so again we'll uh, see how long this takes I may again just fast forward or edit it out uh, the uh, entire process yeah, first it's looking for what version of the compiler I have on this computer and some other uh, resources and then it goes ahead and starts the uh, compiling process this is going to be the first uh, part of the process, and then we're going to run the make command. I stepped away from my computer while this was running. It took about 25 to 30 minutes to run. And that was the first part of the process where it created the necessary uh, uh, scripts. It also created uh, this make file. So that's the next process we're going to do is we're going to run the make command. And again, this is probably going to take a while and there's no need for you to sit through this process. And I've also Originally, this video was going to be the entire uh, setup of the uh, Raspberry Pi Pico software development kit, but I'm going to uh, break this out as a separate video, which will probably be noted as the description of just the CMake, because not everybody that's going to be running the uh, software development kit is going to need this process, especially if you have a newer uh, operating system or if you've already upgraded yours or if you've upgraded it through the uh, packet manager. If your system has the updated uh, system in the packet manager. So this is just going to be the upgrading the CMake process, which I believe that uh, some people uh, will need it even if they're not dealing with the Raspberry Pi Pico. It's just a uh, simple breakout. And again, this is all stuff I found from Gary Explains, and he did it with the Raspberry Pi Pico. And um, in my future videos, I'll show some of the other things that I uh, learned from him. But um, he did it all as uh, one video, which is another reason why I want to break this out as a separate video. There's no need to have repeated content which regardless this is going to be re repeated content but it's going to be broken down into easier chunks for doing one part of the process the I am creating a uh, playlist so if you want you want to continue with setting up the software development kit uh, keep an eye out for there but I'm gonna um, uh, 
stop the recording here. I'll be back after the uh, make process is completed and then we'll go with the make install uh, command which once uh, this is all compiled shouldn't necessarily be long so we'll finish up with that show that the new version of make has been installed on this system and we'll end the video there so I'll be back shortly so the make uh, process is done and that took at least a half hour maybe 45 minutes to an hour I wasn't near my computer I was working on other projects so now there's one last command to do and that you need to be running as the super user so, or root so you need to run sudo and make again and this time install and you need to be running as someone with root or administrator privileges on your system because you need to install this on the system so all users can access it so gonna run this command this command shouldn't run take that long because most of the uh, compiling was done and it's done it only took a few seconds so now if we run cmake version and now you can see that it is version 13 uh, correction 3.19.4 so now we can uh, continue on with the uh, Raspberry Pi Pico software development kit install so that's going to be a future video most likely the next video I just figured this is long enough for now so the whole process took about an hour and a half with downloading running the uh, the bootstrap running make and uh, running the install so most of that process you don't need to be near your computer to run so in the uh, future videos which if they are if I've already released it I'll put a link in the description and also as I said I will make a playlist or there already is a playlist of the Raspberry Pi Pico uh, videos uh, if you'd like to subscribe those may show up more likely they may not the Google al algorithm is the Google algorithm and it's an adaptive algorithm so what works today may not work tomorrow so just uh, keep a eye out for it uh, subscribing does help the channel and it also gives you a list of content creators that you may want to check up on I do that for uh, uh, creators like uh, Ben Eater, who doesn't always, it's been five months since he's released a video, but then I can go take a look. He's listed in as one of my subscribers. I can go look, see, oh, he has a new video out, or uh, same thing with uh, where I got most of this information from Gary explains oh I want to go back to find the video well who was it it's in my subscriber list that is more of the benefit than actually having videos pop up on your uh, feed and I personally avoid notifications so I would completely understand if you don't turn on notifications because you don't want to be notified of every video but uh, this is where we'll uh, leave it and in the future video within the next week or so we'll have the continuation of setting up the software development kit and uh, other uh, aspects from that including um, the project generator um, I'll be using a the command line version of the project uh, 
generator because I'm uh, remoted into this Raspberry Pi. As you may have seen a window pop up a little while ago, I'm using a secure shell to go into this Raspberry Pi and because it's off to the side, it's not a main computer and that Raspberry Pi doesn't even have a X Windows or a GUI system installed on it. So if you like to see more videos, keep an eye out. Otherwise, thank you for watching.